On the Checker Pro Radio Show, I love to talk about things home improvement, and I love to talk about things that aren't all that well known. Zachary Zaris is joining me today from Level Concrete. We're going to talk about something you just may not know, and this is a great solution for a piece of concrete or a number of pieces of concrete that may not be level anymore. Zachary, how are you doing? I'm doing quite well. How about yourself? I am living the dream. Thank you so much for joining me today here on the program. I love what you do. I'm very familiar with what you do, but I want you to explain to everybody who's watching and listening the process behind leveling a slab or a piece of concrete that may have become unlevel. It it, it may have seemed to have pitched up. It may have seemed yep. to pitch down. Um, what is going on? And what is the process to fix this? Yeah, so the, the the first process, we come in there, we do the evaluation to make sure it can be fixed. Uh, once we know it can be fixed, our crews come in and they drill small holes. I tell people that they're size of a pencil to three eighths of an inch. Mm -hmm. um, so we drill those holes, we inject the polyurethane below that concrete. It goes in as a liquid and expands out and fills any hollow, loose spots and compresses soils and then expands and lifts the concrete. After about 15 seconds, that, that foam's done expanding. It's it's at its full height, and we can add more injections to get the elevation we need. And once it's elevated where we need to be, it's done. It's it's an inner, inner material. We just stabilize and fill the rest underneath the concrete. Uh, so it's a very quick process. Oftentimes, it can be done in a couple of hours, and there's no real disruption to your life. It is kind of amazing. I've said before, it's kind of like magic. Um, are people really surprised how good their concrete looks after you've leveled it? Always. Um, we Most people don't realize it can be fixed at that kind of level. They assume they have to replace it for thousands and thousands of dollars and in days of disruption. So when we can come in there and oftentimes people say, hey, I want to watch it be done. Like, I'm going to come out in like an hour and watch it. By the time they come out, it's it's done. And they're like, what? What happened? Like well, we fixed it already. It lifts very quick. And it gets done very fast. So um, it, people love it. And they're they're surprised at how good it looks. And then when you combine it with some other services we offer, it makes it look almost like new concrete. When I first heard about this process, I was thinking, this thing's going to break in half. All that pressure, but that's not necessarily the case because you guys ahead of time know what you're doing in terms of moving that piece of concrete because you do have to be relatively careful that it's all going up at the same time without there being too much of a piece that's not supported right it it, it it's like operating yeah. on someone you have to have everything done well which you understand you have to prep it and then when you start doing it there's no failure yeah so uh what we try to do when we first get in there we cut around the concrete so we run a solid and that just frees up the concrete so they don't bind on each, on each other so that's number one so if, if anybody comes out and they don't really free the concrete up and they just start pumping more likely than not they're going to break pieces and it does happen concrete does break but when we inject that polyurethane spreads out about four foot so two foot in any direction from the hole so we're supporting a pretty large area of the piece of concrete as we lift it and not just doing little small point lifts. And so that's where it allows us to get the lift we want. And then oftentimes when the piece is large, we'll lift here a little bit and then go lift here and walk it up essentially. And that's to help prevent that cracking. Now you've told me before that if people want to remove their broken or unlevel concrete, you can pour new concrete, but there are some downsides to that. So I want to let everybody know, even though you may have a crack, in your concrete it's not just maybe on level but there's there's a crack going through it you may be able to l lift it in that position and kind of put it back together right yeah so if, even if the concrete's cracked we can lift a lot of times around there and the crack will never go away but we seal it we try to prevent water and debris from getting in there which is going to make that crack larger if you don't take care of it mm. Um, but once we seal it and protect it, the crack is not letting water and dirt in. So it's going to help protect the soil so that concrete doesn't settle in the future. But like you said, I mean, we can replace when needed. Um, we try not to as much as possible because it doesn't, just because you put new concrete doesn't mean it's not going to settle again in the future. You have to take care of the other solution, the other reasons of why it happened. So lifting it, lifting it truly is just a quick, I'm going to fix it today. It's like putting a bandaid on a bullet hole. 
if you don't take care of the actual thing, you know, do the stitches on the bore hole, you're you're still gonna you know have problems. But so we you know do the joint sealant, we do the crack sealant, trying to prevent everything from getting under the concrete to give you a life. So just getting new concrete isn't a one all solve problem. Just like just lifting without protecting isn't a one all solve problem. Exactly, and in almost all instances, when you replace a piece of concrete that is in I've said before, like quadrants on your driveway, if you can picture this, or a walkway. If you replace one or two pieces, they're not going to match what's there. So oh, yeah. Yeah. so when Zachary lifts the concrete, it's the same piece. It's It was all poured at yeah. once 10, 20, 30 years ago, whenever it was. And yeah. when you pour something new, no matter how much you guys try to match everything, the texture and everything, the color is not going to be the same. That's that's true. So we, you know, if you want to replace concrete, just might as well look at a checkerboard or chessboard in your driveway forever. Uh, it'll never match, no matter what you do. Even if you come in and try to stain it, uh, the stains will take differently on the concretes. You can do a complete overlay on it, but those aren't permanent either. That's a very short fix as well. So um, I I don't I don't recommend those options. I mean, replace it. You have to replace it. There's no no op no other options on it. But we try to fix everything we can, and we fix a majority of what we see. Yeah, no, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for coming onto the program and being an expert on leveling people's concrete. Like I've said before, it could be your pool deck, could be your driveway, walkway, sidewalk, it, uh, foundation, almost anything that you have that is concrete that is no longer level. Zachary and his team can help you out. All of Zachary's information is located in the show notes of this podcast. So it is all available for you. He is one click away. Zachary, as always, thank you so much for joining me today. No problem. Thanks for having me.